This is Craig Migliaccio from AEC Service Tech, and today what we're going over are six things that you really want to watch out for before replacing a thermostat. The first thing you want to check for is what type of system this thermostat is controlling. Your indoor unit may be a gas furnace such as this one right here, and you can tell that by the gas line heading into this gas valve. You may have a boiler, you may have an indoor air handler, and you may have an air handler that has electric resistance heat such as this one right here. Next, we see that we have this indoor coil, but we need to go to the outdoor unit and see if we have an air conditioner or a heat pump unit. The way that you can tell if you have a heat pump unit is by this third port right here and if the unit has a reversing valve and also an accumulator tank. Now remember, the reversing valve reverses the directional flow of the refrigerant between heating and air conditioning mode. And on the air conditioning unit, you're only gonna see these two ports on the outdoor unit and there's not gonna be a reversing valve. The type of system that you have will dictate the type of thermostat that you're gonna to wanna to get and install. So remember that most of these newer thermostats are capable of handling different types of systems, but you just gotta set them up in their programming. The second thing that you wanna watch out for is if you have a common wire attached to the existing thermostat. So in this case, this unit had batteries, so it didn't need the common wire. When you're installing a new thermostat, such as a Nest or Echo B or Lyric or something like that, it's really important to have a common wire. So if this blue wire right here was attached to this thermostat, it's very likely that it was attached at the indoor furnace or air handler. But in this case, we really wanna use that, that blue wire as the common in order to power this thermostat. So, and you have your R and C, both need to be connected in this thermostat in order to power it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the indoor unit and connect this blue wire to the furnace. The power's off to this furnace as I'm connecting this blue wire onto the common terminal of this control board. The third thing that you wanna watch out for is you can't always use the normal color code where R is red, W is white, G is green, Y is yellow and C is blue, in this case, you see that it's wired differently at the indoor unit. So we can't utilize the blue and the white unless we change the wiring at the indoor unit. In this case, we have a brown wire on the C and a black wire on the W. So you wanna go ahead and match these wires up with those terminals on your new thermostat. Number four is really simple. Just make sure you take a picture of your thermostat wire connections before pulling all the wires out. Number five, I always make sure to check the indoor unit wiring to make sure what colors are on those terminals. So this way I know if there's a thermostat wire that's spliced or some other issue. Number six is make sure that you know the thermostat is the problem before you just replace it. You may have an issue where some of the LEDs aren't, aren't lighting up or maybe it's intermittently turning on the fan or heating and you may just have an issue where it's low batteries or maybe the connection points are bad for the batteries, maybe they're corroded. But what you can do is you can bypass the thermostat itself by jumping out from R to G to turn fan on or R to W to turn heat on or R to Y to turn the air conditioner on. So if you're able to get this system to, to operate correctly by jumping it out, then yeah, your thermostat is the issue. But if you're still not able to get it to operate by jumping it out, then maybe you have a thermostat wiring problem or maybe your control board is, there's an issue with that or maybe the power's off to your furnace or air handler. So there could be a variety of issues besides just the thermostat. Make sure to check out some of the other videos we have down in the description section below on thermostat wiring, the thermostat color code, and controlling two HVAC systems with one thermostat. We also have a bunch of resources at our website at acservicetech.com, so make sure you check all those out, such as the, the quizzes, the calculators, the, the podcast, our refrigerant charging and service procedures for air conditioning book. So we have all that available at acservicetech.com. Hope you enjoyed yourself, and we'll see you next time at AC Service Tech channel.